For practice at self-check 3.19 string expression, we are given the following code and output right here. And this is going to help us evaluate the following expressions. First thing we're going to look at is str1.length. str1.length gets the length of this string. We're given the indexes right here in this comment. So we can, um, well, we know that the length of a string is one more than the index. So the, we're given the index that goes up to 12 here. That means our length is going to be 13. That's correct. And then next we have str1 char at 7. So char at, what that does is it basically, it gets the character av at the um, index that we pass in for the string. So we're looking at string 1, and we need to find the index, or we need to find the character at the index 7 which would be a, and we can put single quotes around it to indicate that it's a character, pass that test. Next we have str2.character at zero. So this is going to get the character at zero, which is g for our second string. Next we have str1.index of o, and this is gonna get the first time o appears in our string. If we look here, it first appears at index 2 right here so we are just going to print out 2 that passes next we have str2.2 uppercase what this is going to do is it going it's going to make this entire string uppercase so we'll have this written like that you pass that test next we have str1.2 lowercase dot index of b so what we're going to do here is we are going to look at our first string, have dot two lowercase, so everything is going to be lowercase. And then we are trying to look for a uppercase B. Well, since we made everything lowercase, that means that there is not going to be an index of B, uppercase B. So that's just going to return a negative one. Now we have str1.substring4. So what this is doing is it makes a new substring from str this str1, and it starts at index 4. Starting at index 4, we have o space baggins. Next we have str2.substring2, 3, comma 4. When we have two variables in here, it starts at 3, and it ends at 14. However, it doesn't count 14. So it really goes from three to 14. And we are looking at our second string. So we'll have DALF space the, and then GRA. And that should be the string for there. Except, like I said, we don't include the character at that 14th value or 14th index. So that's what it should look like. So there will not be an A in there. Next we have str2 dot replace A with two O's. So we look at our second string and we're going to replace all of our lowercase A's with two O's. So we'll have this like that. And that is our string. And that works. And next we have str2 dot replace gray with white. Well, we don't have any gray here. The first part of our dot replace, first parameter is what we're replacing, the second is what we're replacing it with. We don't have any gray here. If it was uppercase, if this was all uppercased, or this was forced to be lowercase, we would replace gray with white. However, since they are opposite, we are not replacing anything with anything, so we are just going to print out the string with no changes made to it. Lastly, we have str1.replace. However, unlike the last two, we have quotes around our str1. And this means instead of saying, changing the string that it, that's being assigned to it, we actually change the name of our variable. So instead of being str1, we're going to have st range because that's what it wants us to replace it with one we'll have quotes around this 
and if we submit it, we have passed all the tests.